Hi everyone, so today I wanted to talk about a commonly asked question I get. I get asked this all the time, even though I have talked about it in my previous videos. And that is, what is the difference between semi-water culture and full water culture? Now I'm trying to find that balance between my channel being about animals and plants. Personally, I love animals a lot more. They're a lot more interesting and more interactive and they're awesome. But I still have a lot of plants and I still like them, so I will be continuing to make videos about them in the future. So first I'm going to talk about semi-water culture. Now with semi-water culture, the plant is normally filled up to the base of it, so all the roots are submerged. And the water is only in there temporarily, normally two days and then it's dumped out. Now the pros of this and these are my personal pros and cons for both of these, is that you can recycle the water. So I like to dump out the water into a watering can and use that for my other plants. I also think that it's easier to adapt plants from substrate to water culture by using semi-water culture. Now the cons is that uh, it takes up more time not that much. I don't think it's a big deal, but others may disagree. Now with full water culture, with certain plants, they're filled up to the bottom half of their roots or the bottom two-thirds of their roots. This is generally plants that like to dry out between waterings. They just don't care about it. Um, and then other plants, they're filled up all the way. And they are in water all the time. There's no breaks. The water may be changed, but it's never dumped out and they're never left to dry. Now the pros of this is that it is less maintenance. And the cons is that while it is less maintenance, you do have to pay attention to certain plants more. And in my case, it would be the Cymbidium, which is my only plant in full water culture at this time. And that is because this plant does not like to be dried out. So all the roots are submerged in water, but it only has less than an inch of water in its base. And therefore, it dries out a lot faster. And when it dries out, the plant becomes very unhappy. So I have to watch that and make sure that it doesn't dry out. So that's about it. It's a super easy concept. and. I don't think there's many pros or cons to either one of them. It's just up to you whether or not you want to grow them in whatever way. Now, one of my next videos will be on how to decide which orchids go into what kind of water culture. And hopefully that will help out some of you regarding that commonly asked question. So thank you for watching and please rate this video. I appreciate it. Bye!